also big for tourism this spiny lobster season here in Florida. And uh, Wendy, speaking of weather, we've been keeping our eye on this tropical depression, but maybe some good news now it's that we're actually in the weekend. It's an area of disturbance. It's not a depression. So we're not, we're not, not seeing, and the, that's good news. <laughs> that's good news because we're actually looking at this thing not developing as, as, as well as we had thought it might. Yeah, I was so just trying to lead that's you good. into so that good news. I'm, I'm just that being glad to be the bearer of good news. Yes, so that's what we're go. doing right now. And we've had the rain showers. We've seen them throughout the day. Most of the activity, though, has been very widely scattered. And you can see some of these showers, especially over the interior sections, east of I-75 is where we started to see most of the rain. And then down to the south, around Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda, these areas saw some heavier rain showers that moved on through and everything lifted on up towards the north. So right now, what's going on is that we do have the uh, copious amounts of moisture that is all moving in across our state. And this is what we've been seeing throughout the day as an area that's out here in the Gulf of Mexico. This is an upper level low. And then the area of disturbed weather over the state of Florida to our north, those areas all helping to produce all of this moisture and you can see it streaming on in from the Yucatan Peninsula. It's all sort of moving in this direction. So this is where we've been getting so much of our moisture coming on in from and we're going to continue to see this development over the next couple of days. But now the chances of this disturbed area, this area of disturbance becoming a tropical storm or a tropical depression are now downgraded to about a 10% chance over the next five days. The sad news right now is that we also have a tropical wave that has formed right here over San Juan. And so this is an area, of course, where we're continuing to watch and our prayers are out for those people in the Puerto Rican island. And what we're looking at right now is you can see this area of tropical disturbance. And then we have that upper level low out here in the Gulf of Mexico. And all of this is forecast to move out into the Gulf. And as you can see that over the next two to five days, the chance of it developing into either a depression or a tropical storm have been diminished greatly. So most of the models taking it out into the Gulf of Mexico, and we're going to continue to see the cloudy weather. We're going to continue to get those rain showers and thunderstorms coming on in over the next couple of days. And these are going to be the final uh, the final notices that we're going to get on Maria. As you can see, this is now 50 mile per hour winds moving towards the east northeast at 32 miles per hour. Lee also is going to get the last notice and it is moving off towards the east northeast as well. Both of these systems are going to be downgraded as they move across the colder waters of the North Atlantic. And we're just going to continue to watch these showers. There's some heavier rains out here in the Gulf of Mexico. Right now we're not seeing anything across our viewing area, so things are quiet for now and this is what it looks like over the next couple of days we're going to continue to see that swirl you can see it out here in the Gulf moving away from shore and we'll be getting our showers coming in from the East Coast to the West Coast so the chances are that we're going to see those heavier winds coming about and as you can see right now we're just going to be looking at some heavier rains located off the coastline. This is what it looks like over the next couple of days. It is going to be breezy on Sunday and Monday. I know that's a concern for the rowers, but we are looking at about a 50% chance of rain for Sunday and Monday with highs near 90 degrees. Adam?